Hello, my name is Joel Labava, and I'm the Franchise King. In this video, I'm going to discuss what you should do if you fall in love with a franchise opportunity and there's no territory available. But before I do that, please click the subscribe button underneath, click the bell so you get notified whenever I publish a new video as good as this one's going to be. Well, hopefully. Anyway, so you find this franchise opportunity, you're all pumped, you've done all the things I've suggested, you're a good fit for the franchise, you've matched your top skills and your investment amount, your budget to the franchise opportunity in question, and you contact the franchise or you actually fill out a request more information form. Good idea, because you really have to start at the beginning by filling out the form and asking for more information. So the franchisor calls you back, you arrange a little more formal phone call a couple days later, and you discover during the phone call that there is no franchise territory available. Now, the good thing about franchising, the franchise business model, is that when you become a franchisee, in almost every case, your territory is protected. Yay! No one can infringe and move in on your territory. The bad news is, is that the territory is protected from folks that want to buy a franchise and in the same area. So, you know, so what do you do? You have a couple choices. The first thing to do is to ask the franchisor if there is available territory near you, as in maybe an hour's drive away. Now, it depends on how pumped you are about the franchise opportunity and if you're a good fit. If it's really the one, if you really think it's the best one for you, maybe it's worth it to own a franchise unit or two that's an hour away from you. I don't know, it's for you to decide. So you can decide to continue to do the research and investigate the franchise and participate in the weekly calls with the franchise representative and see how things go, okay? So that's one. The second thing you can do is ask the franchise sales representative if one of the franchisees in the territory you want is interested in selling the franchise. Maybe the case is that the franchisee has been there for nine or 10 years, his or her agreement's about to be up, and they've reached their goals and they're like, yeah, heck, if there's someone that wants to buy it, I have no problem, I'll move to a southern climb and retire. It's possible. So, so make sure you ask the franchise sales representative if, if there's a franchisee in the area that is maybe interested in selling. If you don't ask, you don't know. The third thing you can do, and this is really a long shot, is you can ask if there's a way for a territory to be created for you, kind of on the outskirts of the other franchisees in the area. It's really a long shot, and sometimes the franchisor can do that. In most cases, I found that they can't. It depends on the age of the franchisor also. So, that is what you should do if the franchise you fall in love with, at least on the surface, uh, is not available in your area because it's sold out. The good news is it's a good franchise, obviously, or hopefully because it's sold out. The bad news is it doesn't help you. So see if there's a competitor in the space with open territory and investigate that competitor. Better yet, investigate two competitors at the same time so you can really do a comparison.